Super fires. Ooh. Are these fires real? They might not be real. The Starbender cycle books backstabbed... Uh, number four. Backstabbed in the face. Trevor's breath fogged up the glass of the airlock door, obscuring the faces of Royal Ash Astronomer and Mercy, smirking her signature smirk at him from the other side. Breathe shallow, Pulsar, the astronomer menaced, for these breaths be your last breaths. Now that I have the prism, the dark star anomaly is under my control and all the galaxy shall... The astronomer didn't finish because he was interrupted by his head being exploded by a blast from Mercy's phase pistol, his remaining words replaced by the muted clattering of his teeth against the other side of the airlock door. White breath fog mingled with red mist on the airlock glass, coasting Trevor in a pink glow. Nothing personal, Trevor, Mercy said. I'm sure this thing will fetch a nice price on the Thraxian black market. And with that, she kicked the airlock button, sending Trevor tumbling out into the unloving black of space. Yeah, look at that. The, the magic uh, fire is not actually fire. So, utilities. Ceiling control room. Atmospheric decontamination procedure initiated. Oxygen flush commencing in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hazardous atmosphere conditions. Cool, and the magic fire disappears as well. And now, and that's why this was unbreakable on the other side as well, now that I think about it. Wait, they removed the fire everywhere. How does that even make any sense? The fans are still working. Right? Oxygen flow control. I wonder if this is just a way for you not to... to get burned by the little things. Decontamination completed successfully. Stand by for oxygenation. Or... Oh! It might be to decontaminate the... Oxygen levels normal. The poltergeist. There's the pipe. That might be what it's for. Because the poltergeist... Oh no, the fire is still there. It's magic. Well, we don't know the way in. Authorized personnel only. Clearance required beyond this point. Yeah, but what clearance? And what is this point? There's nothing outside. Huh. Well, that's another another secret that we need to come back to later. Or come back for. But for right now, we're safe. I didn't get you. Shelves. How very unthorough of me. Okay, so this... Atmosphere control. We've been everywhere. Apart from that room over there. But I can remember that. And this means that we can now go back to the other place. And in fact, we're going to go back to the beginning of the game. Because there is one thing in the black labs. What is it called? Black Wake? I don't remember the name. I will also heal. Also, I'll... Let me check my neuromods. I have two of them only. Okay. I need a few more. Probably could make some more. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Yes. Diagnosing, bruising, abrasions, fatigue. Nothing like this. I'll have you feeling better soon. Good as new. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. So what I want to do... Maybe I have the card now for this. I still don't. Yeah, that's going to be for a mission later. Okay. What I want to do is I want to make neuro mods. I only have the one. That's a shame. Oh, I only got 1.4 exotic material. We're not going to have enough neuro mods for what I wanted. That's fine. Let's go. So, this is back 
to the cargo bay. So now we're back in here. But here, everything is locked. So, what we have to do is go this way. Microgravity detected. It better be detected. Because here is where we fought a lot of monsters. And they better not be back. Because I'm done with them. For the moment, anyway. Everything is doing jiggly jiggles. I mean, I know where there are some monsters somewhere, but we don't need to worry. So this is where the computer was... Somewhere. Oh, yeah, you. Edward. Huh. Yeah, this is where that computer is. So, what I want to do... Is I want to go back all the way. So we came from Cargo Bay. And... We have been... The Shuttle Bay. Have we been there? Normal gravity detected. So this is where the operator is. Here? Did I just not turn the power on? That's all that I didn't do over here. Oh, also that's bad. Oh, also there's a person in there. Let's fix that. No, that's not a person. That looked like a person in here, didn't it? That's Brittany Little. Oh, fuel storage. Brittany Lavalley. Yeah, um, this is where there was a fire elemental, for lack of a better word. This is broken, but we don't worry about that. Um, and where the, the, the little, the little engineer outside was complaining to us. I don't know why it's complaining, but it's complaining. Oh, and now the computer is on. This is to Brittany. Hey, Brit. I must have just missed you. Please let me know when you're back so you can let me into Shuttle Bay. Sorry to keep bugging you, but security hasn't issued me a card yet. Thanks from Edward. Edward died. We just saw that. Uh, there's a lot of things that are broken over here. We could fix that, but we're not going to bother with that for the moment. Because I don't know how long I'm going to stay here. Mostly because there's a, a door over there. But this is good news. This is good news. This means that every time we see a place that doesn't have power, there has... Well, I say every time, but the likelier scenario is that we we just need to activate the power. Somewhere. And it's our friend that helped us. We still might not have the way out. Oh, no. We do have the way out. To Shuttle Bay. Because we have the card. Oh my god, this is going well. Uh, do we actually... We don't have an objective there, but that doesn't matter. We do all the objectives anyway. Well, we go to all the places, so let's go. The shuttle bay is the single point of ingress and egress for all Transtar personnel, visitors, and volunteers. And so, it also is full of bad things. Hazardous atmosphere conditions. Malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. There's no microgravity. Um. Okay, so we definitely have never been here. It's a, it's a three level area. I don't know how. I don't know why it's hazardous. I wonder if it doesn't have oxygen or if it's just a matter of, of actually there being poison in the air for some reason this is for science operators there's a voltaic a voltaic thing I hear very few things 
So it could be that there's no oxygen in here. It's depressurized. No, there's definitely oxygen. Otherwise, there wouldn't be fire. But there's no power. I used to wish we weren't alone in the universe. Oh, no, that, that explains... That's better than before. Okay, I kind of want to see you. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. I know, I know. Don't worry. I know. I also know what they are. Okay, they're not attacking me. They might not have a way to get in here. So, let's go into data. Let's go into research. And... Oh, it's I'm still one short. The problem is there's two of them. The other one, I don't know what it was. So it's EMP against these guys. The hell was that sound? I got lost. What is it? It's a greater mimic. Okay. Okay, there's a great... Oh, there's another one in there. Uh, did I finish? No, not you. I did finish. Can mimic turrets and operators? Oh, no. Will attempt to go directly for the face. Stay away in, 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 and immobilize with glue. Yep. Can mimic operators? How... I... It's so good that my character can tell all these things, because I can't tell any of this. So... I think they're stuck in there, otherwise they would come out. And if we could turn the lights on... That would be fantastic. Ascension shipping. Radioactive waste. Hmm. Can I open this? There's blood out oh, outside, yeah. I don't see anybody around. No, there's, there's gonna be people. There's a lot of blood out here. Hope there's no mimics in here, but there's probably somebody. Yep, there it is. They just hid. Which is a, a reasonable thing to do. Everything seems clear. A disruptor stun gun fabrication plan. Anastasia Uriegas. Anastasia. But this wasn't like a stowaway kind of deal. It was... She just was trying to hide. Okay, so we know how to deal with those things. But this doesn't seem to open. Oh, my suit is protecting me from radiation. No, that radiation over there. There's also a dead person. What is that? Okay, that's nothing. Okay, what? No. Oh. Let's not go down there. There's a container area here. Everything seems to be a okay. Does have some glue canisters. And yeah. I don't I'm not really sure why there's fire there, but I'm pretty sure this is like mostly depressurized. Synthetic material. Okay, there's another dead person over there. Mineral material. Annie, 
I know you'll never read this. I ran out of my office when I heard you screaming, but there were just too many of them between me and you. You were always really nice to me. You didn't deserve to die like that. And now they're in my office, and I'm surrounded out here in this cage. I can't help myself, much less you, or even Mia. Even when I try, I still screw things up. I'm sorry. Scott. A wrench fabrication plan. Big Bang. Candy. And that is Scott. Scott Parker. With a shuttle control room. Key. Um, no, no, no warning. It's good. Is it where we are? It should be, because this is shuttle bay. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Yeah, and that's why he died to death. No breathing apparatus. I'm pretty sure there would be no salvation. Ah! What the hell? Oh, that. Huh. I was like, what the hell damaged me? I'm pretty sure there would be no salvation if this thing depressurized. Because the speed at which things depressurize is supreme. It is like pressure. We don't we don't we 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 don't know. Well or rather we know, but we we uh, we intuitively don't understand the immense amount of pressure that we are on, on here on Earth. Just think of whenever you, you pick a bottle up and um it doesn't have to be like a plastic bottle, but if it is a plastic bottle, it's all gonna crumple. But it just like a glass bottle, and put your put your lips up to the the. Um, they really were fighting in there. Oh, that's locked. Oh, that's great. Um, put your lips up to the the. Uh, put your lips in the uh, bottleneck and just you know pull. You create a vacuum inside the bottle, right? Or at least you know lower pressure. It's not actually vacuum because vacuum isn't possible to be created. But uh, as, as close as it gets with our lungs, so if you pull that, it it, it makes a lot of it, it makes a lot of pressure or negative pressure, obviously. But still, you can feel that that pressure can never be greater than the pressure we ha are under out here. So basically, if we are under one pascal, which is the atmospheric pressure of Earth, uh, more or less, then is it pascal? Hmm. I actually don't know. I know atmosphere. Uh. Oh. Freaking hell! Freaking hell! Freaking hell! Let me talk about my things. Oh no. I know uh, at, uh, pressure is measured in Pascal, but I don't actually know what our pressure is. The turret is aggressive, by the way, so it is. It must be a mimic. Warning: oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing. That's the thing, the size of a truck. That is a Gorgon. We never, we never messed with it. I can get it. Yeah, but basically what I mean to say is that the pressure that we feel in a bottle is not greater. Or you can just say it is the same as the pressure that we're under. We just don't think about it like that. Because it's not intuitive to feel that we are under pressure, but we definitely are. And so, what I'm telling you... More specimens required. It's a technopath. The hell? Is that the thing that we fought? That is the thing that we fought. My god, there's so many enemies. Okay. Either way. Uh, yeah, the moment this lost pressure, it'd be like a bottle opening. And just being like... <laughs> it disappear immediately. Okay. So, that thing... Is... is uh, we could consider it to be bad. It is bad, and we don't want to deal with... Di Why did you move? That was weird. We don't want to deal with it. It is a bad thing that we don't want to deal with. At the moment. We're going to deal with it later. Because I want to explore a little bit more. So we went in there, we found the dead person. You always need to be on the lookout for mimics. And the turret upstairs has got to be a greater mimic. And also, we need to be on the lookout for the tiny little machine that turns the lights on. What is that? Is it a, an airlock? We unlocked it. It is an airlock.
caution. EVA required. Nice. Nice. Okay, that makes so much noise. Um. Nice. Okay, so that basically is the fast travel location, as far as we can, I can understand it. Although the outside seems pretty dangerous. I don't know how fast it will be, but it will. We'll we'll get to explore the outside in due time. I do wonder if the power is on, actually. It's just that there's very little lighting. No, the power is not on, otherwise these things would, would be operational. But that thing is operational. Yeah. Right? It doesn't feel like it is. <laughs> I have so much suit repair kits. So many suit repair kits. We don't hear the sound, because we, you know, no oxygen, or breathe, or atmosphere for that matter. So the, the sound travels through only the floor and stuff like that. And because that thing is too rigid, it, it doesn't actually travel through it. So, did we come up here? Yeah, we did, we did, but I didn't mess with the computer. Error. Oh. I'm gonna be shocked. Hopefully I don't die. No. It's very little. That was a that was a tricky a tricky thing. I, I didn't decide fast enough to, to go down the the difficult path. And I should have. Okay. Emails. Okay. Emanuela, I'm not mad about the HR thing, in case you're wondering. Word of advice, if things ever go to hell here, you'll want to come to the shuttle bay. Escape pod E33, that's all I'm saying. Trust me on this. Oh. I don't think... I don't know that the other escape pods had numbers. Uh, lunch. Oh, there's there's a lot of things. Hey, Em, I switched up my shift hours today so I could have lunch with you. What do you say? And she says, sorry, busy. Hey, Em, how about today, Frank? Franklin, I don't like to be called Em or Emmy or Manny. Or anything else besides Emanuela. And sorry, I'm working the lunch shift today, so I can't eat with you. He didn't even... Man. It's kind of... <laughs> he just didn't even reply. Apologizing or something. I need you to halt any work on the escape pods. The parts you're using aren't rated for... Oh, this is from Alex directly. Aren't rated for those systems. You'll be informed of a new shipment when they arrive. Keep this to yourself unless I tell you otherwise. I wonder if it was Alex... Frank Jones. Frank Jones is the one downstairs. I... I think. Um... I wonder if it was, it was Alex that disabled the escape pods. No, it's, this is Scott Parker. I actually don't know where Frank Jones might be. It might be one of those monsters for all I know. You know, which they see me. The Technopath saw me. We just don't deal with it for right now. Let's we'll deal with these guys. Oh, this is a door. Well, it's quite straightforward. Hey! You're locked in there, aren't you? Yeah. I know you have a friend, by the way. Can you grab it for me? It's over there. Like... <laughs> no? Friend doesn't want to deal with me? Can I even go in? I can. <laughs> is it a bad idea? It is. Oh no, the... The window is locked. Or open. Okay. We can deal with this. I wonder if the gun works outside. No, it does. We have... Have we been in a place... 
Yes, we have. Okay. Let's go with an EMP charge. I know what you're up to. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Okay, we got good things. And potentially... A new enemy, because I don't know what the other one is. The Greater Mimic is somewhere in there, I can't tell. It's just a normal Mimic. Where are you going? Did you run away? No, we did not. Okay. It almost saw me. These are easy to kill. There it is. Does it attack me even? No, it didn't do damage. This is Mary Stevens. Was Mary Stevens the one Scott was talking about or talking to? Plastic tubing. Okay, we handled this area reasonably well. Um... Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Right. Do these things do that? Do these things right in the walls? Because remember how I said... We don't know that they're conscious. Oh, we still don't. We still don't know that they're conscious. A printer does art it when you tell it to. It possibly does art when it malfunctions, but it doesn't have a conscious, as far as we know. <laughs> but the point is, uh, the game is telling us that they do that. It's not a mistake. Warning, please ensure that there are no persons inside the gravity shaft when activated. Oh. Oh, that might be actually useful. Um, so, the, the yeah, the, 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 um, the power is on, but the gravity shaft is not. Hey, don't know what problems you got going on, and I honestly don't care. Just get your work done on time because you're holding me back. And this is to Scott. Oh. Uh, it, this was uh, from Frank Jones. Oh, it was Annie, wasn't it? Scott was talking. I lied to you the other day when you asked if I was okay. I'm not. There's something wrong with me, but I don't know what it is. I don't eat. I'm tired all the time. I feel like shit. The only thing I want to do is sleep, and even then, all I get are nightmares. I went to see Dr. De Silva, but she said there's a there wasn't anything physically wrong with me. Wanted me to see Dr. Cole, but I said no. I know Frank would just have given me shit if he found out I was talking to a shrink. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You'll always be nice to me. I guess maybe I just wanted someone else to remember me after. And then just smash the keyboard. In a very realistic way as well, by the way. Because that is more or less what happens when you smash the keyboard like that. So he was just suffering from depression or something like that. Potentially, he had a, an alien in his brain. But most, more likely just stress and um, and uh, depression and all that. Okay, so we're going to say that there's nothing here because nothing aggroed. I'm still going to have a look. But nothing aggroed when I, I was messing around with things. So, we're fine. The Starbender Cycle, Book 2, My Enemy's Enemy. I read this already. EMP charge, thank you very much. Did need one. Kind of you to give me one after I needed one. 